All right, you've already read the video title, so let's dive right in, starting with the update. Now you have this little button right here for the timeline ranger. It's quite handy for adjusting the frame range according to the animation. And this kind of feels like poor man's animbot, you know, having a custom button right above the timeline. Actually, we could even throw in menus into this header, but I'm not sure if that would be convenient or if people would be interested. Let me know in the comments. Moving on to the next one, now you have access to the animation scrubber in the Dobshit Editor and Graph Editor. You can assign a shortcut of your choice and use it as you see fit in this context. Also you have this indicator option as a new feature. Since animation scrubber is a model operator, it could be confusing at times, especially if you accidentally hit its shortcut button. You may think Blender is glitching or something, you know. So this little indicator might come in handy. As you've already seen it on the screen, the auto frame is now accessible in the Dobshit Editor as well. This was requested by one of the users and I think it makes total sense. The most significant change with the update is about the root bar reverser. Clearly the UI has changed and there is a purpose behind it. Let me show how to use it. Let's start with a simple use case. To make this animation in place, you will use this hips controller, right? Because this controls the translation of the character in the world. It says source bone here. This is your source bone, which will be used as a reference for reverse animating the root bone. And I'll use this Z channel here since it moves along the Z axis as you can see. Now what about the root bone? It follows the same directions as the hips controller so it needs to be reverse animated along the Z axis. I'll select Z from the drop down. And that's about it. The catch here is that I have the flexibility to pick a different axis for the Z axis of the source bone. And I'm going to show that use case with a different animation. Let's say we have this jumping animation and I want the character to stay on the ground for the whole time. I'll use one of the feet controllers for this. And as you can see, the directions are different with the root bone. This could be the case for other bones as well. Perhaps your rig has different forward directions for the hips controller and the root bone. But this is not a problem anymore. I can mesh the Z axis of the foot controller with the Y axis of the root bone. And it will reverse animate the root bone along the Y axis using the data from the Z channel of the foot controller, as you can see. This was not possible with the previous version and I think it's a pretty good improvement. And lastly, there is a brand new feature in Animazing called Footlocker, which I'll be sharing as a tiny standalone free add-on on my Gumroad page as well. So, most of the time, you wouldn't want your controls to remain completely static in your animations, right? Because that doesn't look natural. Like in this animation, the shoulders look awful because they hardly move, right? But sometimes you do want your controllers to be static, such as the feet controllers in a walking animation, maybe. Of course, you wouldn't want your character to slide on the ground while walking. And I think Footlocker could be useful for such a use case. Suppose you have a sliding issue in your animation like the one we have here. First, you will figure out between which frames the controller should remain steady. And seems like it should not move from the second frame through, let's say, 15th frame, right? You can either type in the values here or use these buttons to set them to the value of the current frame. And it should not move along the z-axis, right? So let's select the z-axis here, and that's it. Of course you're not limited to using it only for the feet controllers, you can use it on any bone to lock movement along the selected axis. And with that, I think we've covered everything for this video, you can find the links in the description. See you in the next one.